Let's -a go! As always, when you're on the job site, be sure to use uh, proper protective equipment. Be sure to have a helmet, goggles, gloves, covered shoulders, covered legs, and closed-toed shoes. Here we are in the master bedroom, and you can see the pieces that we will need to do the plumbing include uh, rings that will help prevent the pipe from expanding too much. We have some 90 degree elbows to help uh, bend the pipe in tight places. We have adapters for getting fire sprinklers attached. We have talons which are used to place the pipe along the wall so they are secured. And then different types of fittings that are used to branch off or uh, extend the pipe. So we have T's, we have manifolds, and different type of specialty fittings that can be used. Of course we're going to want to measure things so you will have a measuring tape and all of this will be used on different sized pipes. Clear indicates cold water whereas red pipe indi indicates hot water. So this is a three quarter inch pipe here uh, and this is the type of insulation that is used on uh, both half inch and three quarter hot water only so that there are less losses from the from the hot water line. Lastly you'll need this specialty tool which is called the PEX expander and so what this does is as we will show you shortly is it expands the ends of the tubing so that then you can fit it into the different types of fittings. It's -a me, Mario. Also, before you get started, make sure you check all the codes and regulations for your local area. If you're not certain about something, check with a professional because this could save you a lot of headache in the end. Mamma mia! In today's segment, we'll be looking at how to expand a pipe onto a fitting. What you'll need. A Pex expander. Make sure it's charged. A Pex ring. A pipe. And finally a fitting that you're looking to expand the pipe onto. To begin, take the PEX ring and notice that there's two ends. One end has a slight uh, cusp. The other end is free. Take the free end and place it onto the pipe. Slide it down all the way until it can't go any further. The lisp is there to prevent the ring from coming down to the rest of the pipe. Next, you'll take your PEX expander Make sure it's the right size. This one is three quarters for the three quarters inch pipe. Place it inside of the pipe and begin to expand by holding down the trigger. Make sure that it's not locked. You want to make sure you push the expander all the way into the pipe and expand several times. Once you're ready, you stop. You grab the fitting and you insert it all the way into the pipe. And you hold it there. And what will happen now is the pipe will slowly contract around the fitting and form a watertight seal. You can hold it like this for roughly a minute, 30 seconds, and then the, uh, the seal will be formed. For this portion of the tutorial, I'll be showing you how to put in a 90 degree PEX fitting. You'll need a couple things. The PEX pipe, a fitting, and the most important piece. Bring the guns. This part's hard. So, to begin, you place one end of the pipe onto the fitting, as shown. And then you'll need to bend the rest of the pipe onto here. Make sure not to crimp the pipe or you'll be in trouble. So. You just use a little bit of hand strength. Oh, ah, ah, jeez. Ah, working up the muscles.
mustache, huh? Ah, there it goes. There's 90. Just like that. <laughs> Placing pipe on the wall or ceiling is an important step in the plumbing process. Here we will try putting this piece of pipe onto the wall by securing it using a talon, as we showed before. Here we can see that the, the fitting is not rotated at the correct direction, so this can easily be done by simply grabbing and twisting the piece to make it align with the wall. Having done that, we can now place the talon over the pipe by snapping it over. Finally, there is a pre-fed nail that you simply have to hammer into the wall in order to secure the pipe. And now your pipe is secured. To get oriented in the house, we want to take a walk through and see what is actually in the different parts. So first, if we come on up, we'll see what's actually in the core, the front part of the house. Here we can see that there is some incomplete uh, three-quarter inch pipe for the domestic water, a half inch line that will go into the hot water heater, some insulated hot water that will be coming out of the water heater. And then finally, some black ABS pipe that is used for venting and for wastewater after it's been used.